Hello coaches, trainers, and practitioners, and welcome to your PowerPlay product integration course. My name is Laura Wilson, and this short CEC course will assist you in implementing the PowerPlay into your programming. We're excited you've joined us and can't wait to share with you the science behind and application of this incredible tool. We know you're busy and have many products in your toolkit. So by the end of this course, we really want to ensure that you know how to integrate PowerPlay into your client programs safely and effectively. So why does PowerPlay education exist? To empower movement professionals with the knowledge and passion to successfully integrate PowerPlay technology within their training environment to enhance functional performance and improve quality of life through movement. Over the past 30 years, this technology has been and continues to be used by leaders in spaceflight, NASA, professional sports teams, athletes, Olympic associations, medical institutions, and the most successful universities and health clubs around the world. With literally hundreds of thousands of users globally and an ever-growing library of research, it is no longer a question of if it works, but rather how best to make it work for you. At the end of these 30 minutes, you'll be able to integrate PowerPlay into your warm-up, training and conditioning, and cool down. So let's get started. And now we're gonna move into the product science. And I know when we hear that word science, sometimes we get a little freaked out, but we have to pay attention here because there are some distinct differences in the power of the science behind vibration training. So what is PowerPlay? Well, in its simplest form, it's a vibrating platform that moves in three dimensions many times a second. Okay, so this is a product that stimulates us to do three things. It helps us to prepare faster, to perform better, and recover quicker than just about any other technology out there. But before we get to the methodology, we're gonna to have to make sure we understand some of the scientific learning points so that we can apply it. Number one, anything you can do authentically on the earth, simple or complex, any movement can be done on the power plate to enhance that movement. We have a three component training system. We call it our essentials. And we're gonna take you through that one by one and each of the subcomponents. But the key is that when we use this product, it is an authentic environment for injury prevention, performance enhancement and rehabilitation. So we have to know some of the technical components to make it safe and effective. So get ready, there are gonna be three things that we need to share with you. Number one, how does the product move? It moves up and down, it moves front and back, and it moves side to side. Arguably, the most important is up and down. When we move in the game of life or the game of sport, life is 3D. We move in different directions. Power Plate provides one of the most authentic training environments to prepare us for the game of life and the game of sport by moving in three dimensions. Okay, so number two. This is really important. It's the idea that this is mechanical harmonic vibration. It's not electrical, it's not magnetic. And more importantly, it's the kind of vibration that our body likes and thrives on. It's predictable, it's precise, it's safe and it's authentic. Unlike a jackhammer, the power plate provides the kind of vibration that's authentic to our bodies and we love to train against. For example, if you're walking, you're running, you're jogging, you're jumping, whatever it is you're doing, we constantly leave the ground and come back. We constantly leave the ground and come back and we move in different directions. Every time we train on a power plate, this is happening. Those mechanical vibrations give us authentic hits of ground reaction force in safe, predictable ways. Number three, we're gonna talk about two words that you have to get really comfortable with, frequency and amplitude. What I would suggest is you think of these as speed and distance. When we train on a power plate, frequency is 30 to 50 times per second. All that means is it's the speed that the plate is vibrating. And when I say vibrating, as I've discussed, I mean actually moving up and down side to side, front and back, 30 to 50 times a second, that's speed. But then we've got amplitude, our distance, how far does it travel every time? When you combine speed with distance, they're really your intensity dials. So when you use the power plate, I want you to think about speed and distance being called frequency and amplitude. 
when we combine them, they create our intensity dial, or in other words, the demand that we're placing on that person's body. Why is that important? Because when you're on here, preparing, performing, and recovering, you've got to know whether you're using one, two, three, four, five or six G-forces. Frequency and amplitude are your dials for that. So, quickly recap, the three central technical things you must know. One, the plate actually moves. It doesn't just vibrate up and down, front and back, and side to side. It's mechanical, safe, harmonic vibration, which is completely authentic to how we move in life every time we hit the ground. And finally, speed and distance, which we call frequency and amplitude. So now we know how it works, we've got to move into what it does to the body. Welcome back, guys. So we just covered product science, technology, how it works. Now we've got to quickly look at and review product science, how the body responds. So this bit's about response and adaptation. Let's quickly review. The plate does three things, right? It moves up and down, front and back, side to side. It's harmonic, safe, predictable vibration. And we have frequency and amplitude, which we call speed and distance. They're our intensity dials. Okay, put that to the side for a minute. Here's what we know, research evidence as well as practice-based evidence. There are four main systems that absolutely are influenced by vibration training. The neurological system, the proprioceptive system, the musculoskeletal system, and the metabolic or circulatory systems. Now that's, that's a lot, I don't know about you, but that's a lot. That's a lot of fancy words, but let's, let's break down what that actually means. If we took 30 years of research, here's what we now know to be unequivocally true about vibration training. It stimulates and enhances brain and nerve function. It stimulates proprioceptive function. What does that mean? Skin, joint, bone, muscle receptors. They tell us how to move, when to move, and what to do. It's kind of a big deal. They stimulate our muscular skeletal system, our bones, our muscles, and our joints. That's kind of the bread and butter of what we do as coaches. And then finally, some unbelievable results in the circulatory systems. Now let that one digest. That, what I've just told you is it actually improves your cardiovascular respiratory function, correct. The best part of all is that this is what we call autonomic. It's a really fancy word for saying subconscious. So think of what that means. Do you wake up in the morning and decide how to beat your heart or how to breathe? No, your heart and your lungs do their job automatically. Do you think about firing your brave Wayne cells? No, it happens automatically. Do you actually have the ability to turn on or turn off your muscles? No, if I reach for something, it happens automatically. We know that we move unconsciously in sport and in life and when we're training. The most powerful thing about the power play is that at an unconscious level, it stimulates all four of those systems. That's pretty incredible. The end result, we've got more muscles doing more things more often. That's the punchline. Now, before we get into our methodology, I need to explain the two most important mechanisms that explain how you use the products. Okay, so bear with me on this. The first thing is what you'll see in our literature as the rapid reflexive response, R3, also known as TVR. Here's how simple it could be. TVR says, when I go to the doctor and I bend my leg on a chair and he taps it, I get an automatic rapid reflex response to extend my knee. That's not conscious, it just happens. When you're on the power plate, that same thing happens. This is what it looks like. If I put my hand on my chest here, I've got two ways that I can fire my index finger. This is conscious. And no matter how hard I try, there's not a lot of power in there. But if I just put that muscle on stretch, I get explosive power. So we've got conscious muscle action, and we've got unconscious muscle action. And we know, if I want to jump up, the first thing I do is go down. If I want to throw a ball that way, the first thing I do is go this way. Why? Because it allows me to explode my muscles. Every time you move on the power plate, this R3, this rapid reflexive response, or known as TVR, is doing this. 
to every tissue in your body 30 to 50 times a second. So again, we've got more muscles doing more things more often. That's huge. The two biggest things that influence that are the position of your body and how much tension you have in those tissues at the time. So that's number one, R3. Number two is what we call our reflexive stabilization. This means that every tissue in the body has no choice but to respond to the power play. If I jump up, when I come down, every tissue responds. If someone throws a ball and I catch it, every tissue responds. So at a global level, every tissue in the body is stabilizing when that plate leaves you and comes back, leaves you and comes back, whether it's up and down, forward and back, or side to side. So the two mechanisms that make the power plate so powerful for us is this unconscious muscle action, allowing us to explode without thinking about it, and the fact that the entire system has to stabilize regardless of the movement. So we have R3 and we have reflexive stabilization. One's very local, one's very global. If we understand this, it really influences how we prepare, perform and recover and it's going to help you understand why we give you the guidelines that we do. Okay everybody, we've taken you through two quick product sciences. The first one was product science technology. How does it work? The second one was product science response. How does it impact the body? Now we get into the fun stuff, the stuff you're waiting for, which is the program science. How do I use it? So let's quickly recap. There are four main systems that this thing positively enhances in our training. We said it was the, uh, the neurological system. We said it was the musculoskeletal system, the proprioceptive system, and the circulatory systems. What that leads to is some pretty cool outcomes that all of our clients need. Increased circulation, increased soft tissue extensibility, increased flexibility, stability and balance, increased strength, speed and power, and my personal favorite, increased recovery and regeneration. So what we're gonna do now is take you through our three essentials, prepare, perform, recover, and show you how to apply it. Okay, the easiest thing I can tell you though is that the best way to apply it is to do what you already do great and use this to enhance it. The beauty of power play is it can be used instead of what you're doing, but it can also be used as well as. And we want you to understand that integration, that integration exists. Now, as we go through our three components, there are three things that you will consistently see with Haley, with Laura, and myself on camera in each of the essentials. Number one, you'll see the movements that we're performing, okay? The actual movements. Squat, push, pull, lunge, reach, step, whatever it is. There's loads of movements. That's the first thing we look at. Number two is the variations. How do we tweak? How do we change?